So here, that was the worst security I've had to deal with so far at any convention. It was like the TSA. Now I gotta go to Lawbreakers because I have an appointment to play it. So I don't have to wait on another goddamn line, which would be great. I thought I was gonna have trouble picking up my media badge because this was my business card. They wanted a form of ID and a business card. And this is what I had. So, but they didn't ask for that, luckily. Lawbreakers is pretty great. It brought me back to the days of when I used to play Unreal Tournament and shit. But uh, to be fair, I haven't played much PC games since then. So I don't really have much to compare it to. I didn't get the grapple mechanic. I played the assassin. I didn't get the grapple mechanic for a little bit, and the guy had to tell me what to do. For a while, it felt really, really slow. And to be fair, it was still kind of slow because you had to use this turbo boost that ran out really quickly. It was going to be free to play. I think that would have been a good idea. I think that's the only way they're really going to be in Overwatch is if they do go free to play. But it was fun. I enjoyed playing a PC game. Look at that. It was a fun PC game. Now I gotta go find Vicky. Somewhere at the Discord booth. Trying to book appointments. Everything's broken. Everything sucks. We tried to uh, do some VR demos and we're like, oh, uh, download this app and then you can book an appointment, which is great. This app, this app is really nice. They have two different rooms with different games. This is room A and these are all the appointments you pick. But we want to do 3:30. Click on 3:30. You hit schedule demo. And it takes you right back. Right back to right where it was. At the booth, the guy said, oh, people are having trouble with the app. This guy, and this nice guy in his suit. Guys, if, a lot of people are having trouble with the app. If you're having trouble with the app, go over to this guy, and he'll book you an appointment. Run over to that guy, he said, I can't book you an appointment. And that's like the, the, what, the third time that's happened? Yeah. People are like, go to this guy. And the guy's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> when I went to Lawbreakers, I was like, yeah, I'm here for a Steven uh, media appointment. They're like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> so <laughs> she, she went to the Discord booth. They wanted to take a, a group picture of all the, di the Discord partners. Yeah, it sounded nice. It's like a networking event. You get to meet other Discord partners. Why not? I asked two separate people who were not even standing close to each other what to do, and they both were like, oh, I don't know. And then, she, like, I met her, and she was, like, walking away from the booth. She's like, yeah, they don't know about this picture. I guess it's not happening. And then we went to go look by the Twitch, uh, the and Discord booth again. They're all taking a picture. They're all taking a picture without her. Nobody knows what the hell's going on here. The thing is, like, it's like no a shit show in there. What? Go up this escalator. Go up this escalator. Pay attention. I don't want to film Dodger. It's <laughs> weird. That's their boyfriend, right? Yeah, that's her husband. That's them. Shh, guys. It's Dodger and and Sam. I don't want to film them because that's that's weird. I'm not a paparazzi. <laughs> oh, they're hugging. Oh, they're hugging now, guys. We can stare. I'm just not gonna <laughs> film it. I could be lying too. There's a fucking uh, Scarlett Johansson right now. She's oh her, her tits out. I'm not gonna film it though. I'm not gonna film You're it not though. I'm not, it. not paparazzi. She's actually bouncing oh her tits in her hands right now. Scarlett Johansson's tits. <laughs> this is a once in a lifetime. She's like lining people up and slapping them in the face with her tits. <laughs> and he'll just never, he'll never see it. <laughs> the Twitch party's tonight, also. I don't think we're going. They're at I'm capacity. Talk, I'm talking to Cherry Yoda. Cherry Yoda and I are gonna meet up in like a half hour. We got a Twitch partner here and, she, and she's getting. Uh, I'm gonna see what they're doing. Maybe they're going to dinner today or something instead. Alright. We're gonna whack off in the room. I don't wanna like not go without you. That feels so weird. Guys, is that a kid or a squid? I can't tell. Quick. Quick, there he goes. So I'm Bob, I'm here with James. Yep. You want to give me the elevator pitch on Chasm? Yeah, sure. So uh, Chasm is a 2D action RPG uh, or a Metroidvania. Um, 
The one big difference though compared to other Metroidvanias is that it also features procedural generation. So every time you start a new game, the layout of the world is going to be a little bit different, new rooms you haven't seen before and all that kind of stuff. Okay, cool. What, did, did you work on the game? Yeah, I'm the director, okay. designer. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it's obvious that the inspiration came from uh, Castlevania, yep. Metroid, just mashed together. Where did you get the inspiration for the art style? Was that also Castlevania? Yeah, a little bit of everything, like early Capcom games and uh, just like all those kind of Super Nintendo 16-bit era games, you know, and uh, we had a, a great um, art director. Did the thing with Chasm and the goddamn uh, mic battery died. So that's going to be interesting to edit I'm later. To take a picture of Kirby. That'll probably sound good. Oh, you found Kirby? Let's go to Kirby. <laughs> do you think that person's crouching, or do you think that it's a really tiny person? The body wash in the hotel is pretty shitty. She found her streamer friends. Now I have to awkwardly socialize. Everybody's awkward. We're all introverts. So it makes this weird. Wish me luck. So we're scheduled to stream at 5 o'clock. It is now 4.40. And we're trying to find the room. Also, uh, we only have one media badge. But we're gonna pretend like, you know, we're, we're supposed to be doing this. this is, everything's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I don't wanna ask anybody, because I don't wanna ask, I wanna just do. I'd rather be like, this is what we're doing, then is it okay if we... That's not what I meant. I said you don't wanna ask anybody where it is. I'm also, yeah, I also don't wanna ask anybody where it is, because I'm a man, and asking for directions, <laughs> asking for directions is wrong. Did I almost hit you? We have no like welcoming thing or anything like Welcome. that. Yeah, they didn't have Destiny. It was either like Black Ops. Uh, I'm probably screaming right now, by the way. We're at PAX East right now. We're streaming live from PAX East. Yo, nice save. Oh, come on. I need help saving it. So, Yo, keep I think away. we're going to change it. Seven seconds. Fuck. Boom, we did it. That's how you fucking do Rocket it. Rocket League is a lot of fun, yeah. I want to show everybody on my YouTube what we're doing. You want to show everybody what you're doing? Is Gek not a thing? No, it's not. But we need more um, We need more emote slots before we can do anything crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Gek is a Rocket League god, definitely not. I'm really bad at Rocket League. Super bad, actually. But it's fine. This is what we're playing fun. Rocket League in front of. Oh god, the game started. Oh. How come it blows me away if, like, you get a goal? Because I'm so fucking awesome. Oh, look at that. Look at those moves. Bob just carries in real life. Yeah, pretty much. Everybody's leaving. Shows over what are we gonna do? Well, go back to the hotel. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna make this a vlog or if I'm just gonna mash off the days together. If I do mash off the days together, then uh, it's now day two. I lied, it's the same day. So Twitch is having their partner party tonight and all the partners are invited and they were all told they were going to get a plus one. And you know that I'm not a Twitch partner. Vicky is a, the, I'm sorry, the Geek Chic is a Twitch partner. And guess who would be your plus one? This guy would be your plus one. And first she goes to the Twitch booth today and she says, hey, uh, I'm, a, I'm a partner. They're like, cool. Uh, go right into the VIP lounge. And she's like, awesome. And then she goes to go walk in the VIP lounge and they go, whoa. Who the fuck are you? And she's like, I'm a, I'm a partner. And they're like, you can't come in here. <laughs> then she goes to get a bracelet for the party later 
tonight, I guess right now, and they're like, no, you can't have a plus one. You could just you just get one bracelet. We're we're at capacity, so nobody gets a plus one. It's like so she didn't want to go, so I made her go, and while she's gone, I'm gonna edit. But no, I I enjoy getting to sit around and do nothing because I never do that. I never just sit and do nothing. Just sit, just sit in the hotel and and just have a just have a time with myself. Take it through while it's videoing. Oh, you, you see me, Mike? Huh? There's some going around. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm a nice one, man. Thanks. Taking nice establishing shots for the meantime. You no know, things we have to do today. All right, three thirty. We have uh, PlayStation VR. We're gonna preview, and that's it. Oh, and the kind of funny party. Maybe if we can get into it. Aren't they worried that that's always gonna look like farted forever? VR. They they just sat me down. They were like, all right, pick a song. And I was like, oh great, it's a music game. So I picked Darude Sandstorm because I thought it would be funny. And it wasn't funny. It was like a vi Windows visualization. And there was it wasn't a game. There was no gameplay. I was just sitting there watching these things happening. It would have been really great if I was stoned out of my face. But I wasn't. I was getting after VR. Oculus f me. I got some game I played for two seconds. I'm gonna get it, but like. Uh, you know, I still haven't ever played anything good on VR. So that's my own fault. They also wouldn't let me film. Like, I got yelled at. I wonder why. I think she thought I was filming other people. Who were, like doing the VR thing. Took a picture. Why don't you take a video of me? Doing what? The VR. You weren't doing it. I know it was very boring. Sitting there. I can get her on here. Right there. Talking to the girl, trying to get into the to play Overwatch. Cut the line, pretty much. What happened? Did you play? No, they have a playlist tomorrow. They're gonna call me. Oh. Okay, yeah. So wait, what is all? Where did all this come from? Oh, what is that? That's awesome. I'm gonna take a picture. Ready? One, two, it's a video. Day two. I'm going to go back to the hotel. So right now we're going to try to go to the kind of funny party, but 
it what did it start like it just started right started. seven minutes ago so uh we're probably not gonna get in so if, if we can't get in we'll just get something to eat and have a time with ourselves scope out the line we're going to scope out the line at the kind of funny party Definitely not bringing the camera, so you're probably going to get some uh, bad quality uh, video or nothing at all. So, you'll see. You'll see in literally a second when I jump cut. Oh. It's too bright. I'm not hungover. So we did a very late checkout. Uh, put our bags in the car. We might have had a lot to drink last night. And that's why we wait. So we go to Pax East again for the third day and uh, we're gonna, then we're gonna go home. Met Greg Miller last night. Uh, that, was, that was a good time. That was worth, uh, the, that was worth the headache this morning. <laughs> Switch badges so you can talk to Overwatch people. Okay. Double Legion, bro. Bam, 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 so, do you know anything about the heroes? Do you know what one of these are? Huh? I'm going to go on the McCree. That's McCree back there. There you go, that's McCree. I wanted to be I wanted to be the angel girl, but she's a healer. She's not really she's support. She's not really aggressive. So, then you got to support me? No. Oh, wait, these are controllers. It's a PlayStation controller. Oh, shit, perfect. That's what I made on. Wow. Nice. Yeah, baby. Let's get more of them headshots. Well, help. Your character moves very slowly. Yeah, um, it took a while to get back. Once you, if you died and to go back to the point where everyone was attacking each other, it took a little bit. I like McCree. He had a good dash. I think I'd probably made McCree. Hanzo wasn't that good. He had zero dash. It didn't feel as much of a twitch shooter as everybody's saying it is because uh, it wasn't as fast as I was expecting. Yeah, no, I mean, when Ball I Ball Breakers was, was, was uh, suffered the same problem, but at least that had like a grappling hook. Yeah. When I watch streams of it though, it looks very fast paced. So maybe we're just playing a slower mode. We never know. I think we're just playing it slowly because we're not used to it. Like the dash. Yeah. I liked it. I'm hoping that. Uh, Controls on PS4 were great though. Say goodbye to Twitch. Hi, we decided to try the knockoff chicken and rice truck. It's actually a pretty commendable reproduction of the original. All we really did today was play Overwatch, you know, that was worth it. That's all I wanted to do. All we wanted to do. Now we drive home. Hope you people enjoy my vlogs. 
going to keep doing them anyway whenever I go to these things because, you know, it's easier that way. Game Boy printer goes with the Game Boy camera. You take a picture of yourself and it comes out in a bitmap, like really shitty looking printout. But I kind of really want it. But for 60 bucks, I guess not. It's important for people to know exactly what the game's going to be like. It's a space exploration game, so the game's about exploring the vast, mind-blowingly huge world. Universe. Game's too big to be saying world. <laughs>